Hello and welcome to this short video. Um, I'm just going to quickly go over my startup script um, for Emacs. I have this little startup script because I have two configs. Um, I have my main config that I use day to day that is set up. It has all the plugins that I want um, and works for me. I also have the tutorial config that I'm using in my tutorial series. Um, and I don't want to mess around with, you know, changing configs, moving files, renaming files or whatever on startup. I couldn't find a plugin that did this. So I wrote my own little script. Um, as you can see on the screen now, we have at the bottom of the screen, there is open in it. And then there's the option between personal and tut. Um, so what the script allows me to do is select one of these just by going left and right, or if I can filter, so I can just do P and personal comes up, T, touch comes up. I could put L because there's only an L in personal and L comes, uh, personal comes up. Um, there's actually no letters that are in both of them, is there? Look at that. So I could use any of the touch ones. So if I open up touch, uh, yes, yes. So I open up touch and if I just show you the script file, so um, emacd startup, and I'll just quickly read through uh, what the script's doing. So we'll just ignore these bits. So the main thing here is we define two variables, the config personal and the config tut, which basically are just um, file paths. So home.emacd slash personal, home.emacd slash tut, both dot elisp files. Um, and then we define the function, a uh, little doc string. Then we straight away invoke interactive and interactive mode, which captures user input. Um, and then we define a couple of choices. So we have personal or tut. The next line, so we're saying here, if the string, if a string equals, and then we compare these two strings. So the result of I do completing read, which we require I do, so interactively do, that's what provides the um, fuzzy searching and uh, the kind of going left and right in that selection for those choices, for those options. Um, so that's what this function is. This is the text that shows for those choices and then the list of choices that we defined before. So if the output, when I press return, the output of of this I do of the, or the output of the, the items that is selected when I press return. If it's personal, if the string matches that exactly, then we load the variable config personal. So load file and that just loads. Load that's equivalent. I could have just put load file open quotes home slash dot emacs dot d forward slash personal dot l. But I decided to define it in, com in, in variables above so that you know I could add multiple multiple version um, multiple configs if I had three or four for whatever reason, uh, and then I could make this if else a lot more complicated. So if it equals personal, load config .personal, config slash pers config hyphen personal, and if it's not, if it's tut basically, which is the only other option, then uh, load the tut config, and then. After defining that function, any file that includes or requires this this script, it will start up. This function will immediately get invoked. So, if I go to um, my init.l, the first thing that happens in this file is I load that startup file before I do anything else, and then that startup file then loads a different config. So normally in your init.l, you'd have all your configuration, or at least you generate that file or something. But in this case, I'm loading, it's basically two levels of abstraction from my init file. So I have the init file, then I have the startup uh, elisp file, and then that loads either um, personal, well, that loads either tut, which is the tutorials config that we're working on, or it loads personal, which has another layer of uh, indirect, but I'll go through that another point because yeah, I'm not gonna get into it now. Um, I just thought I'd show that. I'll throw it up on uh, GitHub if people are interested. Uh, if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you're on library, follow and tip. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.